Well, joining us now, R.S. Sharma, the CEO of the National Health uh, Authority and somebody who is very much a part of the COWIN app itself. He's helped design it. He's uh, helped implement it across the country. Thanks uh, very much for being with us. It's an important day today. We are rolling out boosters for senior citizens and frontline workers, uh, doctors. How many people are you looking uh, just today? How many people are eligible in India today to get a booster shot? That's fine, yeah, but that is, he was trying to. Mr. Sharma, Mr. Sharma, can you hear me, sir? Now I can hear you, Vishnu. Now I can hear you. Please. Right. So, uh, Mr. Sharma, my first question to you is, how many people are eligible today to get a booster shot? Well, uh, the, uh, the way what uh, we have done is that those people who are the health workers or the frontline workers, and also those who are more than 60 years and who have got both doses and whose last dose was more than nine months before today, they have mm -hmm. all been issued the SMS messages saying that they are eligible for the precautionary dose. Now, as you know, all the health workers and frontline workers are eligible without any comorbidity conditions. However, in case of 60 years plus, what we are saying is that if your doctors are advising, then you can get the uh, jab, the, the precautionary jab. So ultimately, it will all depend on the people who opt for getting that, uh, that precautionary jab. Uh, we have enabled COVID because they are already registered on COVID. So we have first sending the SMS messages and also now COVID provides that you can book a, an appointment. And we are actually uh, saying and recommending that for senior citizens it's a better idea to get the slots booked and then go rather than get disappointed after going there so that's how it mr is. sharma the i'm just trying to understand and give you the numbers uh, exactly what if a senior citizen goes without a doctor's uh, you know certificate or letter saying that they have a comorbidity would he or she still get a shot there, there is no, uh, in fact, if you remember last time when we had met and you had asked the same question and at that time, uh, the decision was that they should have a certificate of comorbidity. Now that particular thing has been relaxed and there is no need for any certificate, just the statement from the person, a senior citizen saying that uh, I, my doctor has advised and I would like to take the jab will suffice for him to get the jab. So just uh, thinking out loud, would it not be a problem for those senior citizens and, uh, you know, who go for a walk in because a large number of these will be walk in and, you know, they don't know when they got their last dose because they may not have this digital record right with them. They may not have a smartphone. Um, so, you know, again, that 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 back end is important. You know, having that smartphone is important. There would be cases where people would be disappointed, right? No, I don't. Ultimately, people will have to know as to when they got their last dose, number one. Number two, as I said, in order to ensure that people don't miss out on that, we have sent, now we, have, we are starting to send the messages to each of those persons on their mobile number. So, for example, you right. will get a message from your mobile number, dear Vishnu Som, of course, you will not get a message because you are not 16. But I will get a message. So I'm happy to get the booster. If you change the rules, I'll jump in and take a booster right away, sir. So, so I will get a message that, dear Ram Sevak Sharma, you have last, you have got two doses, two doses, and last dose was so and so. You have completed nine months from your second dose, and therefore you are eligible for a, a precaution dose. So that message will come. That message actually can be shown at the center uh, to 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 sort sort of show that sure. this is. This is my eligibility entitlement. And once the vaccinator enters your mobile number into the vaccination right. app, he or she will be able to see the entire vaccination history. That's how we have structured this entire, uh, you know, COVID platform. Right. So, uh, the you know, would you have a percentage of individuals today who have uh, pre-registered on the app or are you seeing a large number as in the past of walk-ins? No, we are, we are, uh, you know, seeing because they don't have to register, but uh, we are seeing a lot of people getting their schedules, uh, you know, scheduled fixed. 
so to say. So, so I we see. have uh, I see. those numbers are there. Uh, obviously, we will not be able to individually say these or numbers because that's uh, that's not really our job. But but globally, we are able to see the trends of registration and trends of uh, you know filling the vacancies, etc. And what are those trends, sir? The trends are that like the uh, you know children uh, of 15 to 17, if you remember. Uh, from 1st of January, we started uh, the bookings and, and we saw a very, very enthusiastic response. 60 lakh people were registered. Similarly, because the registration is no more required, so we don't see the numbers in that sense, but we are seeing uh, the booking is, is taking place. I will not be able to give you off it because I don't recollect those numbers, but, but I think booking figures are quite, uh, quite uh, significant and I think people right. are uh, taking... Uh, vaccinations with interest all these 60 years plus who, of course many of them have not completed their nine months so that is one part hmm. which we must remember for example my own vaccination uh, uh, hmm. took place the second vaccination because i had covid it took place in august and therefore nine months will take place somewhere in the future so if that is the case right. then that is uh, a situation but but otherwise i think uh, people are taking vaccines and how is uh, how what is the progress that you're seeing with children's vaccination on the COVID app? So we know the numbers have been very good, uh, but is that a continuing trend? Yes, yes. If you see the there's no there's no fatigue kind of thing. There's no numbers are not right. reducing or tapering off. It is going up, and you know because of the uh, suddenly there was a sudden spurt uh, because of the uh, 15 to 17 uh, years children, and and that those numbers are are showing up. You know, uh, I think. There are multiple factors for these numbers to continuously, you know, remain in a particular, uh, you know, six, seven million uh, uh, numbers per per day. Uh, there may be multiple factors, uh, and recent surge in cases could be one of them. But but numbers are are remaining quite high. In fact, it's it's a matter of pride for us that 90% of the eligible, uh, you know, people uh, from 18 uh, onwards have have been uh, given the first dose. And, and, and very significant number, the second dose. And, and therefore, uh, it, it, it's actually a very major uh, success. Vaccination is an extremely major success for, for our country. So, sir, um, this is important. Again, talking about pediatric vaccinations, in a few weeks from now, you're going to have to gear up for the second dose. And given the trends that you're seeing, I think we're all hopeful that our children do, in fact, get that second dose uh, on time so that's going to be an, uh, another major task for the for the app and for the system to be ready for as well right just a few weeks left absolutely absolutely and what we do uh, uh, vishnu is that uh, from every you know announcement you must have seen that announcement take place a little prior to the actual date so therefore we do have yeah. certain number of days to prepare ourselves to make those changes in the in the platform and, and actually, it is a little tricky. Let me explain to you. It is not only one application which is getting changed. As I explained to you, that it is not an application. It's a platform. So basically, once right. I change the rules of the game, then all my partners have to make those subsequent changes. So we have to right. actually broadcast all the changes to our partners, whether it is Paytm or whether it is Max Hospital or whether it is Arogya Setu. So that's how they have to make changes. And sometimes you must have observed that, you know, some... Somebody will complain that, oh, this is not happening on my application. It is not a problem mm -hmm. of the platform, but it's a problem of the application which has not been able to make those specific changes in the rules. So, so that's the that's the issue which happens. So we, we prepare ourselves and, and we collect all our partners and tell them that these are the changes which are coming and, and the APIs are changed. And a final question. Um, it's not a global requirement at this juncture. Uh, for a booster to be mandatory for travel. No country, as I understand it, has actually required it uh, so far. But perhaps in the future, that may be a case. So those individuals who are getting boosted today, would that COVID app potentially serve with the details of their third dose, uh, you know, as a vaccine passport? Yes, certainly, because the, the certificate which we are now issuing is we are issuing that fully vaccinated and also a precautionary dose uh, done so basically you know that hopefully will be interpreted uh, and, and and i think that certainly will be interpreted as the uh, booster dose and also remember that uh, we have now decided that it will be the same dose it will be the same vaccine it's not a cocktail 
so in a way right. if you got two co vaccine the third vac third uh, precaution dose is also going to be a a co vaccine so that's that's how it is it is happening are you also gearing up to a much larger uh, rollout uh, when it does happen should it happen of um, you know boosters for uh, all adults because no, that would mean a I, lot of work I, for your system no no we we are we are quite ready and, and i have always said that you know we are ready for any numbers that may come on the system because our system has been tested uh, to to as much as 1000 vaccinations per second uh, more right. than 1000 vaccinations per second on peak load so i think we are we are quite geared and we are quite comfortable also you must have noticed if you have used the system that there is absolutely no delay either in terms of the no. otp coming to your yeah. system or in terms of you know getting your record fetched from the system so there is no there is no gola which is you know going around and around it it's absolutely flawless and absolutely quick and and right. we we well, continue Sharma, to try to maintain those standards the signs are good i mean from what you are saying you know you are encouraged by the people turning out today uh, one final question i'm just trying to understand this W would you know if our armed forces are also getting boosted sir and does that actually reflect on covid as well i would not like to answer that question because basically uh, what had happened is that certain uh, uh, sort of vaccinations had taken place and have taken place outside the uh, outside the system and we do have a provision for putting them onto the system so everything is on the system but but the actual uh, vaccination may take place at locations at times which which may not be you know reflected on this right so absolutely for reasons absolutely for security reasons uh, thanks thanks very much sir but glad to know that you know people are registering quickly on the system uh, for these doses thank you very much sir for speaking to us thank you very much vishnu for having me on the platform thank you